All right, so that little seedling or that little mulberry thing that Donald broke, <laughs> I went ahead and I got it got it buried. So hopefully, I don't know if it'll propagate or not. Or I don't think so because it didn't fully develop. <laughs> All right, then we got our mint growing wild. We have here the oh, the sweetheart banana that we're trying to grow. More pineapples, and then my beautiful jasmine. Oh, smells so good. Um, we planted another cranberry hibiscus. We have the little. What's this banana? That is the Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, okay. And then we got several different varieties going along the ditch here since um, this collects the a lot of water. The three right here are the, uh, the, the uh, Jamaican dwarf or Jamaican red dwarf. Well, there's nothing to it. That was the Mona Lisa. Put it in your pocket, we can write our own. Anyway, okay, so this is our tequila rose hibiscus, more pineapples, uh, more mint, and then this is our Japanese red maple coming back beautifully. This is your sugar loaves? No. No. White, white jade. White jade pineapples. And then here is our curry leaf. We got to trim it back. The frost kind of got to some of the um, some of it, so we got to trim it trim it back and cut off the dead stuff. This here is our miracle fruit, which survived pretty good with the frost. And then here is our river birch, doing great. Oh, and then that's our Carolina willow tree. We found that out, so that's a willow tree we got growing. Pineapples, and then this is the Jacobacaba. 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 I can never say that right. Doing great. It didn't produce this year, but it's still growing. We have voluntary more sweet potato vines because we had actually tested out to see if we could grow the sweet potatoes in the tires over here, and it did great. We actually got a small harvest. But these popped up in the last week here, so we're gonna let them grow because that'll provide some ground cover. And then this is our, what's it, Southern Home? Southern Home. Um, grapevine, and it's starting to produce little clusters of grapes all over. And then we also have some of these, looks, they look like, Really see Here, them. try this one in the sun. They look like um, they're little ladybugs. Are you sure? Yeah, they're ladybugs. They don't look like the normal ladybugs. Oh, well, there's all kinds of different kinds of ladybugs. Yeah. Um, this is our bay leaf tree doing great. Um, I'll probably harvest it later on the season because they say to harvest it in the summertime. And then over here is our. Oops, I just stepped on a pineapple. Dang it. Really? You stepping I, on our I pineapple? Stepped on the pineapple. <sighs> you cut the little ones all over. Um, this is our Barbados cherry. Um, we haven't seen any flowers yet on it, so it hasn't produced yet. And then this is our Pam grape. Um, it just started um, growing, so it doesn't have any clusters on it yet. Um, this is our tea. Was mint it tree. Tea mint tree? And then no, we just mint tree. Uh, mint tree? Yeah. Okay. And then we have our another southern home. Southern home there. And then Donald got um, some of these. We'll show you more, but he planted these all over. These are the prickly pear cactuses that you can eat, and there's no spines to them. So we're going to give it a try and see what we can get. Um, then over here we got more of the um, cranberry hibiscus. We have the muscadine grape over there. I think it might come back, but we cut it back. 
Uh, I'm actually trying to keep it from coming back because yeah. it never produced. We need to dig it out then. Yeah. And then these are our three blueberry trees. And as you can tell, we do have blueberries. They're just not quite ready to pick just yet. We got another low quad. Your Hawaiian pineapples. The sugar loaves, yeah. The sugar loaves. They kind of got hit with the frost even when we covered them, so they're not doing too great. All right, and we're going to take you guys on to the back. All right, we got this little section cleared out. Uh, my blue hydrania came back. These are really good underneath tall trees. They like a little bit of shade and a little bit of sun. They do really well underneath tree canopies. And then we found, we had forgotten about it, but we found our original aloe plants that we bought or got. Um, they're still growing. This we, one I didn't realize was there and we needed it. Yeah, that one survived. And then these two over here that are in pots, we're going to go ahead and take them out of pots in the next week or two um, to get them planted. But they survived in all this mess. And then over here is our another banana patch. These guys are our ice cream bananas. This is a pup, which is coming off of the one that has the rack up there. Um, now, as soon as that rack is done, we're going to go ahead and transplant this pup, hopefully if it doesn't get too big. Um, but we're just waiting for them to ripen it up a little bit more. And along here, Donald has planted a lot more different bananas. Are they all the same or some of them are? Um, these all are the same. These are all the, the Dwarf Cavendish which is the most prolific banana I've ever seen, except for this one right here. Um, I had a customer give those to me. She had no clue what kind they were, but uh, I planted that one and a couple of the other ones on the other side of the house just to uh, see what they do and what they produce, see if the bananas are any good. Mm -hmm. I have no clue what they are. But, they said the the uh, the bananas she had they had a couple of racks and they were the little short bananas but I don't know what kind. Now hopefully we'll find out soon. And then there's another one of those um, prickly pears. And then over here, Donald built a banana circle as a trying this out. Um. We went ahead and we tried to, uh, our mower died again on us, so we gotta fix that again. But we went ahead and um, weed-eated a lot of this grass and put it around this circle. And um, some of the wood that we've been, the branches that we burnt before. So we got that going. And then over here, we started to plant even more. What we're going to do is we're going to start clearing this front half out. We're going to just weed eat it for right now until I can get there and mow. And we're going to cut some of the dead crap out of here. But we planted a big section of the cactus. More uh -oh. aloe. Um, this is our lemon tree, our Myers lemon. We finally got this um, planted. These were... A customer gave them to yeah. you? Yeah. Um, what were they again? They were Don't type... remember. They're some type of flower. Yeah. Um, but all she told us was just cut them, stick them in the dirt and water them, and they grow roots really quick. And they haven't died yet, so obviously there's something. I didn't think they was going to make it because they were in the back of my truck all day. And by the time I got them home, they were really wilted, but they they seem to survive pretty good. This is not the lime, this is the lime tree. This is the key lime lime tree. Okay. Yeah. And then over here, this is the lemon tree. And as you can tell, we got ourselves a lemon already. We got a lime over there too. And then we got more of the cactuses and the um, aloe, the aloe plants over here. And then next, we're going to go ahead and get into the... Uh, well, show them over here. Where? 
Oh, uh -huh. the other bananas. Yeah, I forgot about those. Watch out for all the sticks. This thing's shedding again. Yeah. All right, so Donald, those same bananas that the he got from that lady that we don't really know what they are, we went ahead and planted them here to offer shade to the house because um, we're always looking to put a way to put shade around here, um, especially in the front. So we went ahead and got them going along here. And then we're going to go ahead and take you guys into the swing set garden and show you what's kind of what kind of working and what's not working. All right. Now over here, we went ahead and we still have some of our greens, greens going. Um, they're surviving in, on this side, which it, get, it does get a lot of sun, so I don't think they're going to last much longer. And then over here, we have planted in here the mammoth sunflowers, which are growing great. Um, this was just a test. Instead of trying to um, plant them everywhere, I thought I'd sprinkle a few in here just to see what happens. Um, in this tire, we planted the um, habanero pepper didn't quite come up but for some reason the malabar the red malabar spinach has returned <laughs> actually i think i see some peppers coming up possibly possibly maybe yeah. maybe they were just late yeah it looks like we got peppers and malabar spinach coming up in the same tower wow or in that same tire that should be interesting yeah that'll definitely be interesting all right then over here we have more of our uh, mustard greens uh, were are, they mustard greens? I don't think they were mustard. I can't remember what she called those. They're some type of greens we can put in a salad. It's got a little spice yeah. to it. I think it's mustard greens. They're good in eggs, too. Yeah. And then back behind here, um, in that far tire, we have the uh, butterfly pea growing. Finally. It finally came up. And then here, oh, look, we got sugar snaps. Awesome. Look, we got peas, guys. Sugar snap peas. So th that's doing great, and I made a little trellis to help grow. And then the bush. <laughs> this is our Everglades tomato again. This is just gone crazy. This is one tomato plant, guys. I have already harvested three huge bucketfuls, and I can't keep up with it. The, uh, the downfall is, is that they're so small that by the time I get enough to try to add to a sauce, they've already gone bad. Um, so what we're going to do in the meantime is um, we're going to cut a lot of this back, feed it to my, um, my flock over here. Now they won't eat the actual greens because this is the tomatoes are in a nightshade. Our chickens and ducks do not eat the actual leaves, but they love the tomatoes. Yeah. These are super sweet. And you can see how tiny they are. They're great in salads. They're great to snack on. And then if you watch this. <laughs> they will fight. They over. will fight over them. <laughs> but if you, you can see, I mean, look, I looked up, look in here. I lift, I lift it up. I mean, it, it's so, there's so many of them. I just cannot keep up with them. The birds eat them. Yeah, but even the birds can't keep up with it. I mean, it's... This is one cutting that we got the beginning of last summer. And it, it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, this will be our second time cutting it back. Second time? You, we, you cut it back twice oh, or three third. times last year. Yeah. And I even let my flock in this area. This is the um, area that we fenced in for the dogs. And d sometimes during the day, I'll let the flock in here. I let them have it. I let them go in there. They're allowed to eat and do whatever they want. Anything they can reach, they can have. <laughs> and then over here. And I weedied this whole area. 
because it's, it's kind of a pain to get in here with the mower yeah. but I weed eat this whole area and every time I weed eat it I'm weed eating the heck out of uh, tomatoes because the birds drop them everywhere yeah now along our mound here hey Sadie come here Sadie girl come here Sadie this is our watchdog but um, along the mound here, we got um, cranberry hibiscus and more of the cactus cactus growing. And that seems to be doing pretty good. And then um, over here, you can see more of the uh, a better you want to um, the sunflowers or whatnot. I got some growing right here. Which once we cut this back, they'll get more sh more sun. I got some there. And then these guys, this looks like it's getting ready for a head. Look. Say that again. It looks like it's about ready to start a head. So, beautiful plants, beautiful flowers. So, that's pretty much it for the update. Um, you know, everything right now is either blooming or starting to produce. And hopefully here, uh, other than having a tomato harvest, we'll start being able to harvest everything else. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and grow something for your family.